Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. Well, I've managed to get out again. I've got a slot of about four hours this morning before I have to do a bit of work this afternoon. So I've headed out to a local woodland again, same woodland I was in for the last video, different area, and we've got some fog. It's not thick fog, but it's certainly drawn me out this morning. So hopefully it's penetrated the woodland a bit. But uh, so we shall see. I'm just making my way in now, as you can see. And also, I'm a bit excited today because a company called Cinco, who specialise in microphones, wireless microphones, have sent me their G2A1 wireless microphone set to try. As you can see, I'm clipped up. It's got the little dead cat wind diverter thingamajig on the top. I've got it linked up on the camera and uh, I'm just going to give it a bit of a test. And it's going to be great because when I'm doing a piece to camera, usually I have to stand, you know, near to the camera because I've always had my, my road mic attached to the hot shoe on the camera. And so when I'm explaining a piece to camera to you or a composition to you, should I say, I have to stay close to the, the camera, the vlogging camera. Whereas now I'll be able to wander off and point at different branches and explain the different compositions stood in the composition if you like so really looking forward to giving that a go anyway as you can see nice and misty not quite so misty in there but there's still some nice color about i haven't missed the autumn color just yet so uh, it's predominantly a pine wood this with some silver birch scattered in amongst it and hopefully when i just drove in i did see some nice gnarly oaks so i'm going to make my way there and uh, see what we can find. Let's go and have a look. So this is one of the oaks that I spotted along the, the track when I drove in, but unfortunately, as you can see, as I wade through all this bramble it's had a couple of a couple of limbs sawn off at some point so although it's nice it's not really the most natural looking tree so but there is another couple as you can see behind it so let's go and look at them good test for the microphone system this as well and what am I about 40 foot away from the camera so hopefully you can still hear me. It is line of sight. So I'll give it a good test in a bit and I'll walk right into the woods. But but um, I'm just wondering if when I'm a fair distance away and I turn around, whether or not it'll uh, it'll cut out. But if I, you guys can obviously hear it now. I can't until I play it back. But if I turn around, hopefully you can, you can still hear me. It's transmitting through my body and my bag as I turn around again. Hopefully there was no cut out there. But yeah, some lovely, green moss on this as well but uh, anyway let's go and have a look at these other oaks without getting too stabbed by all this bramble what I'm actually going to do I'm going to leave you guys there hopefully I'm still in the frame as I walk along here Obviously there's lots of objects like this rhododendron for the transmitter to, to wade through. So what am I now? I bet I'm, don't know what I'll be from there now. 60 foot away from it, I should think. I think it's got about 180 metre transmit depth. So got well, still some nice colour on these leaves. Don't even know if you can see me still. <laughs> if I walk this way, behind that oak that we were looking at originally, <laughs> hello, hopefully you can still hear me. I'm a good, good 60 foot away now. Some nice colour on these oaks. But unfortunately, there's no fog in here. It hasn't penetrated like I didn't think it would. It's not really that thick on the drive here, but anyway, I'll follow this footpath for a bit and see what we can find.
Well, I've literally just walked. Just been and got the. Just been and got you guys from the other side of there. Walk round here. And there's a lovely. I don't know what it is without walking to it. Hopefully you can see it. And it's framed by two pines, but it's. I presume it's probably a beech or a young oak. I'm not sure. Fairly straight trunk. Lovely yellow yellow leaves, and it's framed by two pine trees. I'm going to give it a go on the 70 to 200. There's a nice drop off behind it. There's a bit of fog about again now, but uh, I'll get set up here and we'll do a test on the old microphone as well. I'll walk up. Right, let's get set up. That'll look lovely because there's a little footpath leading to it as well. So quite a nice lead in line. But uh, anyway, I'll stop blabbering on, I'll get set up and then we'll go and have a look. So I'm popping the uh, KNF Concept magnetic polarizer on just to try and bring them colours out a bit. I'm going to crank it right up. Get those colours right out, that's looking, that's really made the yellows pop. Just going to have to, I'm, a, I'm cutting it F8, I'm going to have to come down to, oh not that much, probably, I wonder if you can pick that car up that's coming down the lane on this, that van driving through all the puddles. That'd be interesting. Now, the only thing is, when I initially walked around here, it looked great. Now that I've got it in camera and I'm concentrating, there's a pine branch slicing the beach, I think it's a beach, right in the top, so it's not going to be a great frame. But I'm going to take it anyway. There's a lovely, lovely footpath leading up to it, nice leading line, but it's, it's ruined by the, uh, by the pine branch. But I'm on a 10 second delay. I'm at fourth of a second. Uh, F8, I'm on the 10 second delay, let's just get that. But there's a nice, nice bit of depth behind it. There is a bit of fog about, a bit of mist. And the circular polarizer has really made it pop. But uh, yeah, that's not too bad on the back of the screen. It's just a shame that now I've focused on it and I'm concentrating on it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big pine branch in the way. The thought was there. <laughs> Anyway, I'll show you the image now, guys. Let me know what you think. Right, while well, I've got the opportunity, I think that, I think it's a beet or an oak, we'll, we'll find out in a minute. It might be an oak, I don't know, the leaves are quite thick on it, but uh, I'm going to walk to it. I reckon it's, I reckon it's nearly 100 metres away from here, thinking about the old running at school when I used to do the 100 metres <laughs> on sports day. I think that's about 100 metres. So I'm going to leave you recording, this is all on. I'm going to do a bit of filming on the iPhone once I get there as well. So let's have a walk and give this a good test. Right. iPhone is on, on wide angle. <laughs> Incidentally, when I started my YouTube channel, I did a quite a few vlogs on the iPhone. And, uh, great quality, really. But uh, soon realized that I needed to upgrade the kit and get better vlogging cameras for the channel. But anyway, what are we now? We are, oh, 30 metres away, so I know that that's up all, all right, so we'll carry on walking. Walk a bit further. It is an oak. I thought it might be, because the leaves look quite thick. Yeah, it is an oak, it's a young oak. But uh, anyway, glad I've walked up to it now. But yeah, you can see, right, what are we at now? We are at, I reckon we are at, well, 50, 60 metres probably. 
10, 20, 30, 50 meters, I think. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm just gonna turn around. Hopefully it's still transmitting through my body. Do a 360. Hopefully that didn't cut off. Otherwise I'll be using more of this footage. Right, let's carry on walking. Right, I'm just wondering if I can get a good shot of it from, nah, I can't. There's lots of overhanging pine branches that are just, it's just off center of the track. Uh, anyway, can I still see the vlogging camera? Yep, we are a good, we must be a good 80 metres now, I reckon. Uh, hopefully you can still hear me. I'm just going to carry on talking and spin round. Hopefully it's transmitting all right, still. I'm sure it's about 180 metres line of sight, but anyway. That's the, the branch that was getting in the way of the composition, annoyingly. Let's carry on and walk around this fallen tree. You know, I wish the wish the wind was a bit the fog was a bit but oh look. So there it is. An oak tree, if you can see that on that. Right, where are we now? Can I even still see the vlogging camera? Yes, I can just see you. We mu that's got to be that's got to be hundred metres, I reckon. So hopefully that still works okay. Let's spin round, I'll do a 360. I wonder if it's still working at 100 metres. We shall see and spin round again. Yeah, see when I was down there, I didn't even, didn't even see this fallen, fallen pine, but anyway, that's the oak. Right, test over. <laughs> we'll go back now and carry on having a walk round. Job's a good one. This looks quite nice. Found a nice couple of couple of beech trees. You can see them through the gap there. That is quite a nice composition. There's a bit of sky in it, a bit of highlight tones, but I reckon a portrait got a nice carpet of red leaves. I don't know whether I'll be able to frame frame it with. Let's go portrait. Don't know if I'll be able to frame it with the two pines that are there. Nah, probably not. I'll probably cut them out. That's nice because there's a bit of light coming in. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk and talk you through it. But uh, I was looking at these two, but this is great, this is the fact I can walk off. I was looking at these two pine trees to perhaps frame the two because they're really, really, one of them's obviously, the one on the left's a bit quirky, but they've both got a limb coming off, so it's quite symmetrical. But uh, yeah. I think I'll probably just crop inside of this for the actual image when I edit it. Nice, nice carpet of red leaves. That looks all right. And there's some great light coming right on the edge of the cover here, so right on the edge of the woodland. So, oh, look at some of these beech trees. Crikey, there's some nice color to be added. I'm gonna be taking a few compositions here in a minute. Oof, that's nice. But yeah, I'm gonna have a go at this anyway. Now I'm all set up in portrait try and probably crop the top so there's no highlight tones, no sky in it, but yeah, lovely carpet of red leaves. Right, let's have a go at that and we'll see. I've got the, the polarizer on still, so let's just, I might just have to move a little bit just so I can get it square so that I can crop both them, both them uh, pine trees out. Oh, this is great roaming, I love it. Let's have a look, that's not bad at that. Just crank the old, polarised to bring the colours right out, it's a lovely, yeah I'm going to crop them two pines out, definitely. Right, what are we at? Seven. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the aperture down a bit. Set, let's go 7.1. I don't mind a bit of drop off, I want them two beech trees and the colour to stand out a bit. Fifth of a second, 7.1, we're at ISO 50, lowest we can go on the Canon 5D Mark IV. Touch screen, let's just focus, I'm just going to focus quickly on the back of the screen. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that looks okay, that's nice. I'm, I'm focusing on, on the most prominent leaves, the, the leaves closest to me. Right, let's zoom off that. Touch tone, touch screen even. 
10 second delay, keep nice and still so there's no wobble because this 70 to 200 is heavy. One second. Hey, that looks quite nice. That looks really nice. I'll show you guys now, let me know what you think. So I've just come across a composition just as I've walked around the corner when I was taking the picture of the, well, not two beech trees, incidentally, it's a beech tree and then the, the tree at the back that's the same shape was an ash, but uh, with a few brown leaves on it. But anyway, that's that composition done. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, come around the corner. I've got four green coloured mossy beech trees, quite gnarly looking. Now it's nice because in the base of the frame there's a massive clump of yellow leaves, beautiful colour, cranked up with the circular polarizer. But the tree on the left, the branches lead out of the frame, so it might be a square crop. Um, bit of sky to take out as well, but I just love the yellow leaves against the nice dark green backdrop, especially cranked up the colours, cranking up the colours with the circular polarizer. I've gone to F8, I want a little bit more of the scene sharp if I can. I'm at fifth of a second, ISO 50. 10 second shutter delay. Um, yeah, I don't know if it works or not because of the fact that them branches are cut out, but at a square crop it might be okay. But uh, anyway, I'll pop it up now, guys. Let me know what you think. Right, I've been getting carried away with the colour and these nice beech trees, but I suppose I ought to let you know a little bit more about this Synco G2A1 system. Now it's A1, there's one transmitter, one receiver in the A1 pack. Now obviously A2 pack, you get two receivers and a transmitter, which can all be paired together. Yeah, nice little box, ideal for me for going in the bag. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you drop it, it's nice and padded, so that's all right. You get all the various cables, now, as you can see, not only do you get the, the inbuilt mic on the top and the little dead cat that just clips on there, just like that, he says. That's it, it's clipped on. You also get this lavalier mic, which I'm now using. Just plug it into the transmitter and away you go. I did a video the other day for, uh, for someone, a corporate video, and used the lavalier mic and it was absolutely fantastic. And uh, you know, you can, you can conceal this in, I concealed this in the client's shirt and away we went, so really great. Now the transmitter, incidentally, these have got about eight hours of battery life, which is fantastic for what, for what us vloggers do. You know, we, sometimes we are out eight hours, but I think it takes about an hour and a half to charge both units up. It comes with a dual cable, so one USB cable, two USB-C cables attached to that one cable, so that's handy. And like with the A2, the, G, the G2A2, that obviously has one USB with three um, C cables coming off it, so that's really good. You don't have three cables, or I don't have two cables to charge each individual unit. It's all combined on the one USB cable, so that's good. Yeah, eight hours of battery life, so that's fantastic. It's got a nice screen on it. I've hardly ever had to use the screen so far. It is a little bit reflective. Obviously today, I can see the screen lovely. It's fine. But on a, a bright day, I might just have to shade it a bit. But to be honest, I've not had to use the screen yet. It's that great. On the transmitter, we've got a pairing button and we've got a high pass filter button. I've never had to pair them up yet so far. Turn them on and they just automatically pair, so that's great. On the other side, the power button, 
also acts as a mute button which is great and uh, yeah lovely bit of kit nice solid very similar to the road road mics really but half the price now they probably are half the price because they haven't got an inbuilt memory system but for me I don't really mind that at all it's perfect for me because as soon as I've done a piece to camera like I'm doing now I'll stop and I'll check that it's recorded and I've got the sound on the unit and it's it's brilliant so I don't really need an inbuilt memory system so yeah that's the only thing it hasn't got compared to your more expensive kits um, transmitter and receiver kits but doesn't doesn't fuss me at all now on the receiver unit that's got an A and a B volume control button which is brilliant again I've not had to use that yet um, like with the G2A2 kits if you've got two different voices with two different lavalier mics you can control the different levels so you can control the A unit and the B unit with the volume button so that's great obviously you've got a USB-C charger it's also got obviously the power button and the mute button and it's got the pair button on it as well and it's also got the the LCD screen which again I've never had to look at comes with a bungee cable that I've got connected into my camera and there's also another cable, an audio cable for mobile phones, which I thought was really handy. Um, you've got a little reset button as well. There's a, there's a little uh, pin that comes with the kit that you can reset everything um, back to factory settings. And yeah, I absolutely love this. Say, hey, first time out today, I've used it in the office a bit and I've used it for various clients on commercial jobs, filming in the office or in the studio. And uh, yeah, the Lavala mic is fantastic, but um, you know, for us, for us vloggers that are out roaming about, just having the unit with the dead cat on it is absolutely brilliant. You can see the mic there. There's the inbuilt mic. And uh, yeah, really impressed with it. I can't uh, thank Synco enough for getting in touch. So yeah, and it's like I said earlier, it's just nice to be able to roam about and carry on talking instead of having to, st to, to stay local to the, the vlogging camera. So it's great. So I'll be able to explain the compositions a bit more and and point about and and just walk around and wander around so yeah can't i can't uh, can't thank Cinco enough oh and incidentally before i forget little clip on the back and that is also perfect fit for a hot shoe or a cold shoe mount and as on my vlogging camera now i've got the receiver in the hot shoe and sits there lovely i've been wandering about i've had it over my shoulder and uh, it's not fallen out at all so yeah obviously that clips onto there like that and away you go so yeah right that's the system explained um i'll put all the links below anyway to all the, ver the various kits the g2 uh, a1 kit and a2 kit the links will be in the description below and uh, yeah highly recommend it thank you very much Cinco, for sending it out and i shall uh, my videos might change a bit now because i can roam about so uh, yeah let me know what you think to the roaming <laughs> some of you might like it some of you might not but probably a little bit less b-roll and, uh, and more roaming about, explaining compositions. Anyway, talking of compositions, let's go and find one more. Well, I've just done that piece to camera on the microphone kit, got my stuff gathered together, packed everything away, put the rucksack on, just looked up and the mist has rolled in just ever so slightly. And you guys know that I love, where is it there, look? I love a long tunnel composition which is exactly what we've got here. And with that little bit of mist, you can just see it, just a little bit of mist has rolled in. And it's, it's really caught the atmosphere of exactly how it is in here today. It's so still, apart from the traffic that you can hear. It's really still, the odd bird singing. A lot of leaves have come off, off the trees now. There's the odd bit of yellow from in this composition. I'll show you in a minute. Bit of yellow, the odd yellow leaf from the overhanging beech branches. But it's just that tunnel vision that takes you leads your eye to the bottom of the frame and uh, yeah i love it all the bracken's now nice oh, it's, it's it's i say it's a nice dead brown it's a nice atmospheric brown color it's all died off now with the odd bit of just tinge of yellow in it and uh, yeah and obviously the overhanging branches from the pine leaves at the top it's cut out the majority of the highlight tones and uh, yeah I think I'll uh, call it a day with this one. I have just had a look round and there's, there's lots of yellow, obviously, lots of beech trees with low branches. I've just took a, I'll pop it up now, just a nice composition of a, a beech tree. It has got a broken branch, as you can see, but uh, the colours are lovely with the backdrop and the bit of mist that's, that's uh, 
just floated in a bit but uh, yeah I think we'll uh, we'll end on this composition now time for a coffee I think so uh, yeah anyway hopefully you've liked a bit of roaming today with the microphone kit and if any of you guys are vloggers I'd highly recommend the Cinco G2A1 kit or the A2 kit if you you'd like for more for more of the vloggers that are perhaps going to be interviewing clients or whatever the, the G2A2 kit with two receivers would be ideal for having you know a bit of a conversation with two different people so yeah I'd highly recommend it and uh, thanks again Cinco for sending it out love this kit and I'll be using it a lot more and roaming about a lot more through my compositions but anyway I'll leave you guys with this image I hope you like it let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, yeah brilliant thanks ever so much for watching guys take care catch up soon mm -hmm.